Hey, Dr. Carlson, I thought I'd make you a quick screencast so that you could um, get a, a look at how you can add things into so that students could see the readings and things. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go up here to the, the top of the page where you get to select a course. I'm just going to play with a course. This is one of my play courses. And so here we are in the midst of this bigger um, course page that you would see. Now I'm assuming what's happening is that up here, which is our content browser, you're not seeing what I have here, which are three separate modules that when I click them actually take me to things that the students can see, like a module at a glance, a link to Greek theater, the Thesmophoria Zeuse, that sort of thing. So the way we add that is by going down here to the site resources, and in the site resources, we want to choose the course builder. That's where you make things visible to students. When you click that, you're going to get a page that looks like this. And this is where you can start dragging and dropping things. This is exactly where you're going to make things visible. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by coming up here. This is the create a module. This is what you're going to drag over here. Wait until you see this black line show up and then let it go. And then this window pops up. Now you can name it whatever you want. If you want to make, if you want to do modules based on uh, class time, so you know you want to put, I don't know, uh, class one, and you're going to put all the readings in there, then you'll just name it class one. That's what's going to show up to the students. This is like the folder title. So think of these as folders. Um, if you want to just do one great big one that's called readings, no problem. Go ahead and do that. That might be the easiest way. Now once I click create you'll notice that then that module shows up. The problem with this module right now is that there's nothing in it. It's just an empty thing. If you notice there's a little expand node reading and then there's actual things in each of these file folders. So what we have to do is we need to, ex we need to put stuff in this. Now you've uploaded things so you're going to be able to find those things here under course files. So if you click that you'll go in here and you can you know, you can choose whichever ones you want. So you can just choose a couple here, whichever ones you want, and then just drag and drop them into the module. And now we've done that. We've got that file folder filled with something. When I go back to my home page in the content browser, you'll see that we have the class one that I just created, and here are the things that I drag and drop. So that's how that works. If you need anything else, let me know. I'm more than happy to walk you through anything else. And remember, I'm going to be back in Athens, so, you know, call me when you'll see break.